Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. One of the most common types of questions I get from you guys is about your boa's growth rate. There's a lot of people out there that have a baby boa and they're really concerned that it's either growing too fast and it's getting too large or that it's growing too slow and that it's too small given its age. And so today I wanted to discuss boa growth rates. I've discussed this quite a bit previously in my other videos. Today I want to do some comparisons of Suriname red tails that are approaching one year old, these are born in 2020, with babies that were born this year. Um, these babies are now just a few weeks old. And one of the reasons for this comparison is I have two different bloodlines here. Uh, one, uh, one of them is one year old, one of them is just a few weeks old. You can see that they're pretty much basically the same size. So, you know, my Prometheus bloodline babies, which were born just a few weeks ago, are just really, really big for Surinams. You know, they're born at almost two feet long. My other bloodline is a little bit smaller and they've grown, you know, quite a bit slower. These are my 2020 babies. And so you can see both of these animals look pretty similar. I'll tell you up front that this is the one that's just a few weeks old, just born um, a couple weeks ago. I believe it was July 19th they were born. And this guy was born last September uh, here. So this guy's not quite a year old. But you can see overall, not too much of a difference. This guy, when he was born, was quite a bit smaller than this one. Um, and he grew quite a bit smaller. I actually did a previous comparison with my Peruvian babies from 2020, showing you how much bigger the Peruvian babies were. But you know, boas are all different. They're just different sizes. Some bloodlines are bigger, some bloodlines are smaller, some grow faster, some grow slower. So it's not really something you need to get obsessed about. You know, there's no ideal growth rate for boas, just as long as they're growing slowly and steadily. And for most boas, that's going to be anywhere from 6 inches to 18 inches a year. For the true red tails, it's more like 6 inches to 12 inches a year. You don't want them to grow too fast. But as long as you're not overfeeding them, if uh, they're growing a little bit slower, you don't really need to obsess about this or lose any sleep. So I thought for today, I'd just do a quick weigh-in. This is a pair of, these are both males, uh, weigh some of my males, these guys, as well as my females. We'll see how they compare in terms of their weight. Uh, one year old versus about uh, two and a half weeks old. First, I'm gonna weigh this guy. This is my one year old. He's actually about 11 months old. And this guy was just one of the smaller ones actually in the litter. And he's grown kind of slow. He's probably put on about maybe six inches since uh, he was born. But a real healthy animal, you know, real nice muscle tone, real strong, you know, really good feeder, no regurgitation or anything like that. And I've been feeding him about once every two weeks. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, turn my scale on and tear it out. Um, all right, so here's his weight in grams. He is. 135 grams, okay, at 11 months old, 135. Now I'm going to weigh my 2021 baby, and again, this guy is about two and a half weeks old, just from uh, the Prometheus bloodline, which has these really large babies compared to some of my other Suriname bloodlines. I haven't carefully measured these guys, but as far as his length, he's probably only about maybe two or three inches shorter than that 11 month old we just saw. So we'll see what his weight is. Okay, so he's 87 grams. So, you know, the other guy's 135 grams, but he's quite a bit older, you know, about uh, 10 months older than this guy. So, interesting. Well, you know, be interesting to see how big this guy is at a year old. Um, but again, they just all grow at different rates and they start out at different sizes. Nothing to be, you know, that uh, concerned about. So that was the comparison of a male from last year with a male from this year. I thought I'd do another comparison and just compare a holdback female from 2020 with one of the 2021 babies. And you can see in this case, the female is a little bit bigger than the 2020 male. The uh, female from 2021 is pretty similar in size to the 2021 male. But you can see this, this is a 11 month old female. She's still pretty small. You know, but in really good health, really nice muscle form, nice muscle tone, doing really well. Uh, so let's go ahead and weigh them and see how they compare. 
Now I'm going to weigh this whole back 11 month old female. You can see she's a, quite a bit bigger than her uh, brother from the same litter that I weighed first. You know, but not a huge boa and again she's grown you know just probably a few inches over the last year. Um, maybe about six inches or so. But you know it's it's perfectly normal. She's very healthy bow and really nice muscle tone. You can see this one has this beautiful bluish purplish uh, overtones and you know the colors do change somewhat and today she just looks particularly blue if you're into that kind of look in a red tail. So let's uh, get a weight on her. So she is 149 grams so a little bit bigger than her brother who was 135. Now we'll weigh the two and a half week animal from the Prometheus bloodline. This is a female just so we can compare her to the female uh, 11 month old that I just weighed and she is 87 grams. So if I remember correct that was the exact same weight as her brother I just weighed. So two and a half weeks old and 87 grams and the rest of the litter are about the same size I would imagine they're all within you know five or ten grams of this so there you have it a comparison of a size of a one-year-old holdback Suriname red tail with a two and a half week old Suriname red tail and to be honest I thought there might be even less of a difference you know we have a difference of about 40 45 grams between the year old and the two and a half week old um, but you know one thing that doing this comparison has given me an appreciation of is just how much more muscle tone a healthy one-year-old Suriname has compared to the uh, you know the newborn and the you know the two and a half week old. You can just see the muscles are just so much more defined and you know the, the grip is a lot more and it you know just definitely has that boa constrictor feel whereas you know when they're born you can see the musculature isn't quite as developed and a little bit looser looking you know, like the skin is a little bit looser. Um, so that's what you should strive for in your red tails. This really nice, well-defined musculature, nice lean body. You want kind of a, um, a, a height. So rather than being round, the animal looks more like a loaf of bread in cross section. And you know, the height of the animal at the center of the body is probably about two times, two and a half times what the thickness of the animal is. And again, a lot of people are obsessed and they're always worried about the size of their boas, but if your animal is growing slowly but steadily and has this really nice muscle, uh, nicely defined muscle uh, development, chances are it's just fine. And you know, I expect that these animals, given my uh, feeding schedule, it's gonna take them you know, four to five years to reach about five feet or so where they're approaching breeding size, and that's normal. Um, I might do another comparison with my Peruvians as I've done in a previous video. My Peruvian babies are quite a bit bigger at birth even than these Prometheus line and they grow quite a bit faster as well. So that'll be a topic of a future video. But I hope this was helpful for you and you know, hopefully gave you some perspective on growth rates and sizes of true red tail boas. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to shoot me a line. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.